When people come to see me, they look at the, the sign of my office. It says plastic surgery and regenerative medicine, and, and a lot of people don't know what that is. One thing that I've discovered in my, my medical journey, especially my own personal journey, was umbilical cord stem cells. I'll digress real quick is that um, my youngest son is on the autistic spectrum. He has trouble navigating life. And so as a parent, you know, you would do anything, you know, for your kid. You know, my wife took the lead. What she discovered was that there was some early chatter on the internet that stem cells seemed to, to help in autism. And I really didn't necessarily believe it. I didn't understand it. I didn't know how they would help. Uh, but then a, a landmark study came out from Duke just within two years ago that they gave umbilical cord stem cells to uh, 25 um, autistic children and the majority got significantly better. And they saw some amazing you know, results. I told my wife, I think we're on to something. Let's look into this. And so she found a, a, a wonderful uh, pediatric surgeon in, in Chicago, Thomas Loeb, and, and he kind of educated me, told me what was possible. And he gave my son the first dose of umbilical cord stem cells. And there was a, a, a tremendous benefit. It was like a, literally a cloud, you know, uh, lifting off them. And then when I did the research, you know, a lot of people don't know, you know, what causes autism. I don't think anybody knows what causes autism. But we do know some things about the autistic brain that's different than the normal brain. And the normal brain, does not have inflammation, but the autistic brain does. And we know that stem cells can shut down neuroinflammation. You know, when our son benefited, my wife said, you need to offer this as part of your practice. And, you know, I kind of told her, you know, I, I got a day job, I don't need to offer it as my practice. And, and, and she convinced me that there were parents suffering just like us, there were kids suffering just like my son. Why wouldn't you do it if you see yourself as a, a physician healer? And I said, you're right. And then the more I looked at it, the more I said, well, stem cells can help with osteoarthritis. Stem cells can help with rheumatoid arthritis. Stem cells can help with lupus. Stem cells can help with post chemotherapy after breast cancer. I take a lot of care of a lot of breast cancer patients. So I've tried to, to offer people um, you know, cutting edge, you know, technology that could be very, very, very beneficial, you know, to their lives. And I, I've done, you know, many kids now with some tremendous success stories and, and some older individuals that just have bad knees and, you know, want to postpone, you know, knee replacement. And, uh, you know, they've, they've got tremendous relief and are back to exercising, running, bicycling. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Um, and I think that the, the indications are just going to expand.